Hello everyone. So now I'm preparing for the replacement um, my BSL motor with uh, RDM motor to test results. So I just clean it, pinch rollers and cup stands and install the tape. And here is the speed 2998. And wow and flutter weighted uh, around. 0.045 so and as I, I not used my deck for quite a while so you see it's, it's a belt introduced 5 hertz and 15 hertz here but all in all it should be in this range so when we will measure with replaced motor if we will get into this range that means that uh, motor works pretty fine because this BSL motor is a highly stable rotating motor and that's uh, exemplary uh, the only thing which is a little bit too noisy when like uh, in a pause between songs and the deck uh, top cover is closed uh, it resonates and I can hear it quite well so let's do this swap for this RDS motor and I'm also fix it this pioneer motor are replaced capacitors so as an option we can measure with this motor as well uh, let me see uh, so next step I will be uh, removing tape transport removing this motor and install an RDM motor we will measure uh, if results will be good I probably will keep it if not I will install the pioneer back and let's see uh, this pioneer it was I believe around 0.07 percent uh, but it was before I replaced capacitors and uh, the main problem with Pioneer was that it didn't hold speed well so from time to time it was like playing slower than quicker and so on all right let me do that and then meet you there okay guys and here I have the motor dismantled and you may take another look on this motor it works well but due to vibration i not very much like uh, the pose between songs so maybe just design of this deck which doesn't allow it to work quietly because i had the same motor installed into a sony fx6 and it was working quietly without any issue so probably just because you've seen i opened the top cover and but there was no noise maybe just everything resonates together i don't know so i had to pull up the power board to disconnect the power wires so remember in, in previous part we built this power supply it did work well everything works well so now and i had to remove this back plate to have a room to turn this motor out because it has a large board i even had to do a little bit cut here uh, to make sure it will fit in this deck <laughs> all right now it's time to install new motor see you soon okay everyone so see the motor being installed wired and should rotate cup stand if we will get to it yeah here we go good position of the belt everything is straight don't see any issues all right let's run it and see how it will perform let me install it back into the deck body see you there okay guys and i'm not sure what's wrong so see motor is running all right uh, tape is moving and i was reducing speed and uh, lowest i've got 3454 and when i installed it was 39 something on the three kilogears tape so i cannot adjust it lower uh, and you may see while in flutter significantly higher uh, than psl motor had so now I will try to install the original Pioneer motor 
uh, will measure how it runs, and I also have uh, Mitsubishi motors. And I did assembled one just to check, and it's clean inside, so those are like, worth a try as well. And here how it works. Under load, it's a little bit too loud for me. Without load, you see, it's it's quiet. And it's rotating, it's rotating all the time. So, and when it's placed, you hear. Uh, I don't like the picture here, you see, right? So adjustments of six gears, around six gears, you have a pike and this pike just slowly goes up and down, up and down. So it tries to adjust, but I'm not sure what's wrong. Why? This might be my deck. Uh, I probably will try in DR2, just for the case. Because it's easy to together, but um, we'll see. See you, bye. And okay, guys, I am also tried uh, original Pioneer motor, but this was like extremely bad. It, it shows 0.1%. And finally, I installed the Matsushita, Mitsubishi motor, Matsushita, I believe, uh, which I show you in my previous video. And uh, here are my see results. It's even better than BSL motor. It's 0 0.0733. Weighted RMS, the biggest again gets from the cup stance, but it's it's not big and it's manageable. I see 0 0.029. Yeah, uh, speeds I try to adjust so as close as I get. I, I may a little bit adjust more, but it's it's not so good as with RDS motors. Uh, it's not so easy to get to the point. My so conclusion: uh, we will have to do another round with this RDM motors. I uh, probably will assemble one and see if I can adjust uh, the speed so it would be lower. Probably I will try on the other deck, but for this deck, my choice is those Matsushita motors. I get. Last time, I believe I'm already had a video about these motors. Uh, these guys, ED550L. So it's Masoshita motors. I very much like them. I disassembled one. I check it that it's clean inside, uh, perfectly well built. So. And you may see results yourself. We are constantly below 0.04%. Woohoo. I need another try for this RDM motor. See you. Bye bye. Guys, uh, this Matsushita motor did work for a while now. Uh, it's, uh, I will rewind it and it's place again from the beginning uh, I reduced the speed a little bit because it was tending to go higher and higher looks like it stabilized it and it's heated up and I'm just like really curious you see the results 0 0.028 to 0 0.034 and it stabilized it it's no jumps anymore I, we just had a jump all right still pretty cool results I probably will now just speed back a little bit so and we'll observe how it will maintain. So I just discussed it with the manufacturer of these motors and I just tested separately on the power supply. Uh, definitely the one I installed it cannot go lower than that for some reason. It runs higher but the other one I just was trying to adjust and it gets significantly lower on the speed. So probably those just defective, it's prototypes. Uh, we'll, we'll see if they will produce more and we can get a better result. I will test this one uh, on the DR2 because I'm not happy with the DR2 performance. It's 0 0.08 uh, with original motor installed. So let's see 
let me assemble this deck now. I'm also decided to recap it just to have it in a full best possible shape. I recap it uh, uh, headphone amplifier while tape transfer was out, so it was easy to work with this. And now I will pull this board and recap it as well. And this deck will be in a top notch shape. Bye, right, see you. Hey guys, uh, here I am completed recapping of this deck. That's the amount of capacitors which has been replaced. And uh, here you may see Nishikon Gold and Nishikon Muse capacitors are installed everywhere, including power supply. I just keep a couple like uh, not important capacitors which don't affect the sound. You see everything in place, that's a good sign. And I assembled everything already, so it's done from the first attempt. That's a good result. Now it's time to tune it up a little bit. Uh, what else? Uh, this capacitor has been Nishikon used by Polar from the factory. So that's uh, a very good capacitor. And the red one, I believe it's Elna. So Elna, these red capacitors are known for degrade over time. So just eventually uh, replace them. I will let you know results. We will make an audio demo after this recapping and let's discuss it. See you soon. Okay guys, I'm still continue tuning after recapping and currently I'm observing the normal tape recording and it's frequency sweep. So it records almost to 19 and a half kilohertz, maybe to 20 kilohertz minus three decibel. A minor bump around like eight, 10 kilohertz, nothing critical. Uh, after recapping, I measured I got plus two decibel on the bias, so I had to re reduce, like add bias a little bit. So I believe parameters of recording would be even better than were before. Now let's see the different tape type. So it's got type two. Okay, let me see on the white noise okay. so levels 400 gears see a little bit unbalanced between left right channel but this tape always does it so i don't care 10 kilo gears is fine and then i see a drop so let me adjust bias on the front panel source and tape okay. now it should be good yeah we are flat and that's good for this tape I had to reduce bias a little bit to 10 p.m. all right let's see metal tape I will put bias back in the middle. Recording. And it's perfect. You may see perfectly flat surface and tape. No difference at all. On the DKMA. And we are in the middle position. Good. Perfect little deck. I'll meet you on the playback session. Bye bye. And small addition, I'm recording currently on the metal tape, and level is minus twenty decibel. And let's see how it will go. One kilogears, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ideal, A little bit. Not in phase, but very close. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
No change, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, 20, I see a little bit face effects. Not very stable, but pinch rollers are still original. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25, we have minus 2, minus 3 decibel. 26, 27, 20, 28. I ah, see this modulation appear. And when on metal tape, but 18 is pretty stable. 15, perfect. Okay, good. See you guys.